happy Friday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for now, 10 minutes of our day, and we do it together. Shout out to Daily IGTV, hello. All right, before we get into today's message, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths, move around the energy, release that tension. I, for one, know I've been putting in some hours. So this is where I get to time out and do for self. This is me time. You and I get to do that together. All right, follow me. We're taking a couple uh, deep breaths in our breathing techniques. And then let's get on with this show. Follow me, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you feeling? If you're new to me, say hi, say hello. Drop a comment down below. I'm Lisa Puerto, also known as Super Agent. I'm on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at LA Super Agent. And guess what? Check out the show, Ready, Set, Real Estate, on radio podcasts everywhere. You can check that out on your favorite uh, podcast app. That's including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Anchor, Breaker, Keyword Ready, Set, Real Estate, or LA Super Agent. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let's jump into this. How are you feeling wherever you are on this phenomenal planet? I really mean that. Shout out to those of you who actually reached out. And uh, hello, uh, shout out to, I think it was We Buy Black that all of you have discovered and found me and connected with me. I like gained over a hundred followers today. So yo, welcome and kudos to you family. Uh, some of you connected regarding that post I, I shared about FHA and first time home buyer, minimum FICO 525. Thank you for calling. Shout out to uh, Stephanie. Uh, who else? Shantae. Um, I, I'm forgetting some other names. Yes, yes, yes. So those of you who connect with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that because that's you taking initiative about wanting to do something different about your situation and really wanting to invest in yourself. Part of that personal investment is shift your thinking is what we do. So we're continuing our series from Dean Del Sesto's Shift Your Thinking, 200 Ways to Improve our lives and you guessed it there are 200 ways in this book which means that the completion of this series which is a bonus on our show it we will have a total of 200 episodes we are on episode 108 and I'm calling this leader in the mirror like a spin you know spin off a of man in the mirror a play off a of man in the mirror I'm doing leader in the mirror if you're following along in the book I'm in the section where it says leaders who don't like what they see in their team should look in the mirror get it leaders in the mirror you're looking at yourself you're looking at yourself what are you putting out there ask yourself <laughs> all right the author says from leaders who steer a small co committee to the upper echelon of leadership including ceos and captains of industry it's common knowledge so funny common knowledge isn't so common though that the head of the initiative or enterprise is the one responsible for the outcomes but he says most leaders including myself will from time to time place blame on the those around us for the results that are less than what we expect it's so funny um sustin we covered that in the conference today wasn't that funny Indeed. actually we when we asked the guy about we asked the guy about what did he learn about when the deal didn't go through. We were exploring whether he would take responsibility for what happened in the transaction. Very key when you're working with somebody and finding out, and that's you see that when jobs interview you, right? They say, what was difficult? What would you do in this situation? They wanna see if you're gonna take a level of responsibility and be accountable for that. I think that's a phenomenal leadership trait and shows sign of personal growth. If you're trying to be a right fighter all the time and you write and you know everything, you're good to nobody, not even yourself. Mm. <laughs> all right. So he says, but most leaders, including myself, okay, I read that, rather than accept full responsibility for the results, we disperse percentages of blame to others. Uh, 
yeah, don't be a right fighter. That's an episode we covered like maybe 50 episodes ago. It's literally called right fighter. And I see that often in terms of personal relationships. You know, women tend to really want to be that right fighter all the time. You don't have to be right all the time. And sometimes when he's sharing with you and expressing with you, he just needs you to listen. He's not asking for your opinion, not asking for your advice, not asking for your input. Men want to be heard too. So don't need you to be a right fighter. Don't do that. Lisa said, <laughs> all right. He says, not that poor performances is to be tolerated. Terminating and training are part of leadership as well. But the buck stops with leadership. Drop in the comments below leadership. And having branded hundreds of companies, the author says, I've never seen a company culture that isn't, he said, isn't, listen, isn't a mirror of its leader, my own included. So where to start? Where do we start? We ask. Nothing in a leader or a company can be changed as fast as commitment or attitude. Drop in the comments below, attitude starts with you. Not technology, go figure. Not infrastructure, not even that. He says, not even facilities, brick and mortar, the space or place you're in has nothing to do with that. Starts with self. He says, what can change the quickest is the mindset and behavior of the leader. Go figure. Go figure. When the leader commits to inspire by example, drop in the comment when the leader commits. Commit starts with commitment. By example and show exemplary commitment, the employees will move to mirror that behavior and the right changes will drive a more intimate culture, greater performance, and higher stakeholder satisfaction, which we all know translates to what? Mo money, mo money, mo money, mo money. Mo money. When the leader begins to show signs of disconnecting, blaming, and dictating, rather than enrolling and inspiring, the cultural shifts, drop in the comments down below, cultural shifts, Although subversive at first, he says, will manifest in mutiny. Did you hear that? Will manifest in mutiny. And the end of what once was is near. All right. Yo, that was heavy. That was really heavy when we when we were saying, and I know, I know, I know you all can relate. I've actually resigned positions because of attitude. I resigned positions where uh, that was no longer conducive to my growth that was no longer, uh, that made me feel stifled. So when I get to that space and place, I know, hey, it's time to do something different. You all are familiar with those circumstances and situations where even you're around people. One of the reasons I've started doing the breathing technique, sh sh first, it was out of request. Somebody said, ERGJ said, hey, would love for you to start doing breathing techniques before we get into the message. Appreciate that. But here's what's really telling about breath you will actually hold your breath around people with negative energy. You will subconsciously stop breathing. Why? Because your body can feel that energy is so negative, it doesn't want to take it in. So pay attention when you are surrounded by these quote unquote leaders and the people that are leading the pack and wanting to put themselves in that position. What type of energy are they exuding? And are, there, are they being accountable? Are they committed? I think today was really good. All right, CTA for today. I know you may not be looking at yourself as a lead. I shouldn't say I know, I know nothing. <laughs> uh, if you feel that you are taking on leadership positions, these are some things to be mindful. So identify one thing that you can instill in your attitude and that's maybe being a little bit more committed to showing up. Uh, maybe that's taking initiative. If you're someone that says, well, Lisa, no, I'm not really that leader type. There's someone that is actually watching you. Someone is always watching. And we say that a lot about children. My son is with me all the time. He's here right now as he watches me. One of the things that he says to me as a reminder, he says, mom, make sure you invite them to turn on the notifications and subscribe and hit the bell. So with that being said, I love you, love you, love you. I will see you tomorrow on another episode of Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we continue to transform our inner experience to phenomenal outer experience. Make sure you connect with me on all social media at LA Super Agent, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I'll see you on the other side, guys. Thanks.